Hey guys, this is gonna be the part two of this sweater. And if you haven't seen the part one yet, I will put the link in the description below. You can go check the part one first and then come back to the part two. Okay, for the sleeve, I already make one because we're gonna make two exactly the same. And we will uh, make the cuff first. That's what the cuff look like. Okay, I just wanna turn here. So see, this is gonna be the cuff. And then for the cuff, we're gonna start chaining from this way. And the chain that you make gonna be the length of your cuff. If you want your cuff to be longer, you add more chain. And if you want it shorter, you make less chain. And I will tell you exactly how many chain that I make for my cuff. And then after that, you're gonna make, uh, I use fun loop slip stitch for this cuff part and then we're gonna make that back and forth back and forth and the more rolls that you add gonna be the wider of your cuff you can try it on it's gonna fit your arm or no so this part okay I just want to show you real quick so it's gonna be like this all right and then so I will tell you exactly how many rows that I make for the cuff. And after that, we're not going to cut the yarn or anything. We're just going to... So for the cuff, we go this way, right? And then for the sleeve, we go this way. So after you end here, you're not going to cut the yarn or anything. You're just going to turn to this direction and keep going with the uh, sleeve part. And don't worry, I'll, I'll go slowly, okay? And for the sleeve pattern, it's the same pattern of the front and the back panel. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, for the cuff, we're going to start off with slip knot. And then, for my cuff here, I make 15 chains. If you want uh, your cuff to be longer, you add more chains. This part, okay? And if you want shorter, make less chain. For me, I make 15 chains. Make sure you make your chain loosely. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now I have 15 chains. Okay? And then, row 1. Gonna be the wrong side. We're gonna make uh, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook right here but for me I always like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch here okay you also can go into the normal chain stitch whatever you prefer so I skip one chain stitch and make slip stitch into the next chain stitch okay but I go into the little bump here on the back of the chain stitch insert hook Pull up a loop and pull it through. And this slip stitch can be very tight, so be careful before you make the next slip stitch. Make sure you pull the yarn from the hook up a little bit so it's not too tight. Okay? So I'm gonna insert the hook into next stitch here, but I go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Now I have two slip stitch. So before I start make uh, next stitch, I'm gonna pull the loop on my hook up a little bit so it's not too tight, and then insert the hook into next stitch. Right here, pull up a loop and pull it through. Now I have three slip stitch. I just gonna keep repeating that. So pull up a loop a little bit. And insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Okay, now I have four slip stitch. And then I'm gonna repeat that. Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Okay, that's what it looks like. So far I have five slip stitch. And I'm just gonna keep repeating one slip stitch into each chain stitch okay and make sure you don't 
make it too tight. If you make it too tight, next row is going to be difficult to insert your hook through. Alright, keep making that till you reach the end of row 1 and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row 1 here, that's what it looks like. And I have 14 uh, slip stitch. Okay. And then now row 2. We're going to chain 1 and turn. So before I start row 2, I just want to point out, so the uh, slip stitch, if you are a beginner, it's difficult to see uh, the end of each row. Okay, so if you want to place the marker into each row, you can place the marker in as well, so easier to see. Uh, the end of each row. Okay, so this is the end of row one. I just gonna show you guys. I just gonna place the marker into the row one here. All right, and so I chain one already, and then I turn. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, and then we're gonna make one slip stitch into each front loop only. Okay, let me grab my needle real quick okay so if you go into the normal stitch you're gonna go into both loop right it's look like a V like this but for this front loop slip stitch we just gonna go into the front loop only see front loop only front loop only we're not gonna go like that we just go Fun loop only okay and we're gonna start with uh, the first fun loop first so this is the first stitch and I insert my hook into the first stitch fun loop only the first stitch sometimes it's kind of difficult to insert the hook through see that's what it look like and then I pull up a loop and pull it through okay this is the first stitch of row 2 and now if you want to place the marker into row 2 you can do that as well so I want this marker to be the same side I'm just gonna put into the first stitch of row 2 here which is right here but for me I don't need marker I just want to show you guys example all right and then we repeat that Make sure the loop on your hook not too tight and then I'm going to insert my hook into next stitch, front loop only, which is this one. Okay, and then pull up a loop and pull it through. Repeat that, pull up a loop on the hook a little bit and then insert the hook into next stitch, front loop only. Like so. Pull up a loop and pull it through. I'm just going to repeat that. Insert the hook into next stitch, front loop only. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into next stitch, front loop only. Pull up a loop and pull it through. All right, keep repeating that till you reach the end of row two, and I will meet you guys back in. Okay, now I have one stitch left at the end of row two. I just want to show you guys. So. This is going to be the last stitch. You can see this V shape here. I'm just going to insert the hook into the last front loop. Like so. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Let's do the same, but I just want to show you guys. <laughs> Alright, so at the end of row 2, I have the same 14 uh, stitches. Every row you should have the same, and I want you to count your stitches as well. Sometimes it's difficult to see and you might increase or decrease by accident. So good to check, good to count the stitches. So now, row 3 to row 47, I can now repeat row 2. And if you want wider uh, cuff, you can add more rows. But make sure you end up with the art number of row.
Okay, so I have 47 rows. So that is an odd number. All right. So row three, I'm just going to repeat row two. So I chain one, never count at a state, and then turn and do the same. Uh, one fun loop slip state into each state across. So I can show you again. So you turn this way, you can see both loop, right? Which is the V shape here. Right? But we're just going to go into the fun loop only. Right here. Fun loop only. Fun loop only. Like that. So I'm going to insert my hook into the first fun loop here. Sometimes the first loop is difficult, so you can take your time. See, right here, pull up a loop and pull it through. And insert the hook into the next fun loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into the next fun loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into the next fun loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. All right. Keep repeating that into every stitches, every front loop. So this is going to be the last front loop that you're going to insert the hook into, which is the marker here. Oops. Right here. Okay. And if you want, when you reach the end of row three, you can place the marker as well. So you can see the end of the row. Okay, because when we start uh, the sleeve part, we're going to insert the hook to the end of each row. So easier for that part. So you can see the stitches on that part. Okay, <laughs> I hope it makes sense. Yeah, anyway. Okay, keep, I'm going to keep repeating row 2 till I have 47 rows. And I will meet you guys back in. Okay, now I have... 47 rows that's what it looks like and let's say you should end up with the art number row so this is the end of row 47 and your tail when you start should be on the uh, left top corner all right so now we're not gonna cut the yarn or anything and then we just gonna chain three and working this way to start the sleep. All right. So see, this is the end of row forty-seven. And now I gonna chain three. One, two, and three. The chain three count as one double crochet. So I will call this row one for the sleep part. Okay. So now you gonna. Uh, crochet, make one double crochet into the end of each row. Remember at first, I recommend if you guys, if you are a beginner, you can place the marker as well so you can see the end of each row easier. But for me, I can tell where is the end of each row. I just want to show you guys. So this is count as one double crochet. It's the uh, stitch from row 47, right? So row 46, where can you know? I mean, I just gonna say next stitch. So this is the next stitch here, which is the end of next row. And this is the next stitch, the end of next row. And this is the next stitch, the end of next row. And this is the next stitch. Next stitch, next stitch, next stitch. Next stitch. And next stitch okay so you can look this way as well so you can see this line right so have one row in there and then next stitch gonna be this one and it's have no line in there right and then next stitch gonna be next line which is this one and next stitch this one is have no line and next stitch is next line which is this one okay I hope you guys understand <laughs> yeah and I hope you guys can see the stitches and yeah 
So I have 47 rows. I should have 47 double crochet stitches. Okay. So next stitch, which is this one here, I'm going to make one double crochet in there. So I yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. So this part is a little difficult to insert the hook too. You can take your time. Then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now I have two double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, which is this one right here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I have three. And then next stitch is going to be this one here with the line. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. So this one is a little difficult. Oops, go. Pull up a loop, make a double crochet. Next stitch here. Next stitch here. This one. Next stitch here. Okay, that's what it look like. It'll get wider a little bit, as you can see here. We're not increase, but this is how the uh, the stitches work because this really stretchy. That's why. Okay, keep making one double crochet into each stitch, which is the end of each row. I'm gonna point out for you again. So next stitch for me is going to be this one with the line here. This one. And the next stitch is going to be this one with no line right here. And the next stitch is going to be this one with the line. And next stitch, which is this one with no line. And next stitch, which is this one with the line. Okay? You can open a little bit as well. You can see. Alright. Keep repeating that till you reach the end here. And yeah, I have 47 rows. I should have 47 stitches. So whatever the number of the row you have, and make sure it's an odd number. And you should have the same amount of the stitches that you make. All right, and I will miss you guys back in when I reach the end of row one. So I'm at the end of row one. So row one gonna be the wrong side, okay? And I have 40, seven double crochet stitches because I have 47 rows. All right. And for row two, gonna be the right side. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And in the chain three, count at one double crochet. So we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. So next stitch here, okay? Not the uh, very first stitch. The very first stitch is belong to the first three chain because we count that as one double crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here, and make a double crochet. Now I have two double crochet, and then I'm gonna yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, and make a double crochet. And then yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, and make a double crochet. See? You're going to keep making one double crochet into each stitch across till you reach the end of row two and I will meet you guys back in. Okay, I'm at the end of row two but I haven't made the last uh, double crochet yet. I just want to show you guys. Sometimes it's difficult to see. So the last double crochet you're going to make into the third chain from the previous row. Okay, because we count that three chain as one double crochet. So. I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook into the last stitch, which is the uh, third chain stitch. If you don't see, you can turn as well. You can see this V shape here. This is the third chain. So yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Alright. I'm at the end of row 2 and I have the same. Uh, 47 double crochet stitches. You should have the same amount of these stitches because we're not increase or decrease. All right. Now, row three to row five, we're gonna repeat row two and make sure you count your stitches every row. Okay. So, row three, 
Like I said, we repeat row 2. I gonna chain 3. Count as 1 double crochet and turn. And 1 double crochet into each stitch across. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. And make a double crochet. And then yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. And make a double crochet. We're just repeating the same pattern. Okay? And yeah, row 3 to row 5, repeat row 2. And I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 5. Okay, I'm at the end of row 5 here. That's what it looks like. And now row 6, we're going to chain 3. And then turn the chain 3, count as 1 double crochet. And then we're going to make a bead stitch. So, I'm pretty sure if you guys uh, make through this part, that means you know how to make a bead stitch already because the front and the back panel, you make bead stitch as well. So, I'm just going to make bead stitch into next stitch here. Okay, so I yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. Pull up a loop and make a double crochet first. And then I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch here. Around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to do that three times. So this is first time, then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, and then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and then you will have seven loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through six loops, okay? So yarn over, pull through six loops, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. This is the bead stitch. And then we're gonna skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next. So yarn over, skip next stitch, insert the hook into the next. Make double crochet first and then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the first time. And then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, and then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of the double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and you will have seven loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through six loops, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. So now we have two bead stitch, and then repeat that, skip next stitch, and then make bead stitch into the next. So yarn over. Skip next one, insert the hook into the next. And make double crochet first. Oops. And then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the first time. Do that two more times. Two and three. All right. I have three times here and I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through six loops. Oops. This part difficult sometimes. Okay, and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Now I have three bead stitches. Okay, like I said, it's the same pattern of the front and the back panel. Alright, we're gonna keep repeating that. So next, you're gonna skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next. And then skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next. Repeat that till the end, and I will make the last bead stitch with you, okay? Alright, now we're going to make the last bead stitch together. We're going to do the same, okay? So, I skip next stitch, and then yarn over, insert the hook into next here. So, skip this one, insert the hook into this one. Make a bead stitch. So, yarn over, insert the hook around the post of the crochet stitch three times. Right, and you will have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through six loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the third chain here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain, and make a last double crochet. That's what it look like. So row six, I have twenty-three bead stitches. All right, now. For row 7, we're going to chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. Count as 1 double crochet and turn. 
or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left at the end so you can turn this way a little bit and you can see the V shape there that is the stitch we're gonna insert the hook into okay so a yarn over insert the hook into next stitch here okay not the very first one like I said the very first stitch always belong to the first three chain so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop and make a double crochet now we have two double crochet so a yarn over insert the hook into next stitch here pull up a loop and make a double crochet now we have three and then repeat that yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet see just keep repeating that keep making one double crochet into each stitch till you have two stitches left at the end and I will meet you guys back in okay now I have two stitches left on the end here at the end I mean <laughs> so you have next stitch here right and then the last stitch here which is the third chain we're gonna count the third chain as one stitch all right so when you have two stitches left you're gonna skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain stitch so yarn over skip next stitch insert the hook into the last stitch into the third chain pull up a loop and make a last double crochet okay that's what it looks like so you have to skip one stitch at the end of row seven otherwise you're gonna increase one stitch and you don't want that so yeah it's the same we do this pattern in front and back panel as well we always skip one stitch at the end of row seven okay so I'm at the end of row seven and I have 47 double crochet stitches see if I don't skip one stitch I gonna have 48 and I don't want that I will always want to have the same amount of the double crochet stitches so now we're gonna repeat row two to row seven three more times so next we're gonna repeat row two to row seven row two to row seven and then row two to row seven and total of 25 rows as you can see here we have four repeat here we already done the first repeat so we have to make three more repeats which is row two to row seven three more times okay and after i repeat row two to row seven three more times i will have 25 rows and then i'm gonna make one more rows of the bokoche stitches just normal okay so now if you want longer sleeve you can now repeat row two to row seven more than three more times okay you can make uh, the sleeve as long as you like but make sure you repeat row two to row seven keep going row two to row seven till you have your desired length and then you're gonna make one row of double crochet stitches just normal okay and yeah so now row eight it's just gonna repeat row two see start the uh, the second repeat now so row eight second repeat I gonna chain three count as one double crochet and turn and make one double crochet into each stitch across so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet see pretty easy now I uh, I repeat row two all right just keep repeating like I tell you and don't forget to count your stitches and don't forget to make one double crochet into the third chain stitch all right and then one more thing <laughs> don't forget the row that you repeat row seven don't forget to skip the stitch one stitch before the last stitch like we just did here okay otherwise you're gonna increase okay so I gonna repeat row two to row seven three more times and I will have uh, 
25 rows and I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of row 25. Okay, after I repeat row 2 to row 7, 3 more times and I have 25 rows. So this is the end of row 25 and then we're gonna make one more row of double crochet, okay, which is row 26. So I just gonna chain 3, count as one double crochet and then turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch across. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. Pull up a loop and make a double crochet. So now I have two double crochet. Okay, just making one double crochet into each stitch across. So I'm at the end of row 26 here and then I just gonna cut the yarn and I leave about 20 inches tails just enough to sew the sleeve into the back and the front panel. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull the yarn out. Like so. And then you're gonna make two of this exactly the same. Leave the long tail the same, everything the same. And when you have two of this panel, of the sleeve panel, we're gonna sew uh, all the pieces together. Okay, we're gonna sew the back and the front panel together first. And see now, this is the back panel, which is this one, okay? And then this is the front panel, which is this one. And we put them like this, and then we will sew the shoulder seam, which is right here, okay? And we will leave the neck hole open in the middle, which is this one here, all right? I hope <laughs> you can understand. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, so I already put the markers in here and I will show you exactly and I will show you how I count my stitches so from the end here to this marker stitch I gonna sew 18 stitches together okay and also this side as well 18 stitches together and I leave the neck hole open for 35 stitches okay and now, this part is depend on how wide you want your neck hole to be. If you want your neck hole to be wider, you can press the marker right here, right here. It's totally up to you. Alright, so for me, I have 18 stitches marked on each side. But each side have to be the same uh, amount of the stitches that you're going to sew together. Show you on this side. So, so, sorry, I have to. Okay, sorry, I forget to tell you. This is the wrong side facing me. Okay, for both panel because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So now this is wrong side facing me. This side as well, wrong side facing me. And we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for sewing. I'm gonna show you how you can count the stitches. So here, you can count this first stitch here. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. See, I already placed the marker into the eighteenth stitch. Same at this side. You're gonna count the first stitch. So this have the three chain here. You're gonna count the third chain as one stitch, okay? Which is this one, it's difficult to see. So this is the third chain, I count that is the first stitch. So this is one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then 18, which is the marker stitch, okay? So, I'm gonna sew these 18 stitches together by using the long tail that I left earlier. And I'm gonna bring my um, yarn needle. You can use any method you like. Easy, just go back and forth. So I already have the yarn from 
I will call this front panel, okay? From the front panel. And then I'm just gonna insert my yarn needle into the third chain of the back panel. First, you're gonna find the third chain. Just this one right here. Difficult to see sometimes. Right here, okay? And then I'm just gonna bring it out. And then I'm gonna go into the next stitch of the front panel and then next stitch of the back panel. Like so, both loop. That's how I do mine. Like I said, you can use any method you like. Don't sew too tight or too loose. And then insert my needle into next stitch of the front panel and then next stitch of the back panel. Like so, and bring it out. And then insert my needle into next stitch of the front panel and then next stitch of the back panel. And then I'm just gonna keep repeating that. Next stitch and next stitch. Alright, I'm gonna keep sewing all the way down till I reach the marker stitch. Alright, and I will meet you guys back in. Okay, now I reach the marker stitch, but I haven't uh, sewed the last stitch yet. Just wanna show you guys. So I just gonna insert my needle into the marker stitch here of the front panel and then the marker stitch of the back panel. Like so, and then remove the marker. And then I just gonna uh, weaving the end. Just gonna insert back here. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. And then hide the tail. Okay, make sure you stick here and then you trim the tail and you're done of this side. Yay, that's what it look like. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. If you use different method for sewing, it might turn out different. Yeah, all right. And then next, you're going to sew the other side exactly the same, whatever you sew this side. Alright, and then I'm just going to go ahead and sew this side and then I will be back. And we will start sewing the sleeve into the body panel. Okay, after we sew uh, the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam, and next, we're going to sew the sleeve into the front and the back panel here. So here is the shoulder seam that we sew. Okay. I'm just gonna show you guys in the paper real quick. So you can see. So here is the back panel, which is this one. Okay. And here is the front panel, which is this one. And we already sew the shoulder seam, right? And then here is the sleeve. I all I already mark uh, into the front and the back panel. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here, and then I make sure that in the middle of the sleeve, it will be at the shoulder seam where we sew the back and the front panel together. All right, and next we're gonna sew the sleeve right here, which is this one, the sleeve. Okay. So this is the front panel, back panel, and here is the shoulder seam that we sew. And then, this is my sleeve. So I will show you how I mark uh, the sleeve into the front and back panel. So, first, my sleeve, I have 47 stitches right here, okay? And then I want to split it in half, but I don't have in an even number, so I have an art number, 
So I just gonna place the marker right into the middle of the sleeve, which is the 24th stitch. Okay, so from this marker all the way to this stitch before the marker stitch here, I have 23 stitches and then into the 24th stitch, I place the marker here, right? And then the next stitch after the marker stitch, all the way down to this marker stitch, I have 23 stitches. So both sides, I have 23 stitches on each side. 23 here, 23 here. And that is 46 stitches. And then one stitch in the middle here, which is the marker stitch. So all of this, I have 47 stitches. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, the marker stitch at the middle here, I placed the marker at the middle of the sleeve and then I placed the marker into the shoulder seam that we sew the back and the front panel together. All right, so now I have half, I know I'm at the middle here. So both sides is even now. So for the back and the front panel, I count uh, 12 rows and place the marker into row 12. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I count. So you're gonna count the row. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I place the marker into row 12 and then place the marker into the first stitch of the sleeve. Okay, do the same with this side. This is how I do mine. And so now I know my sleeve is even into back and front panel. All right, and then I will use the long tail that I left earlier for sewing. You can use any method you like for sewing. Okay, so yeah, before you sewing, make sure the wrong side is facing you. I will sew on the wrong side. First, I can now bring my yarn needle. Okay. So I already have the long tail on my sleeve panel here. And then I just gonna insert my needle into the marker stitch of row 12 at the front panel here. Like so, and then I just gonna remove marker. And pull the yarn out. And then I insert my needle into next stitch of the panel, uh, of the sleeve panel. And then next stitch of the uh, Front panel. So the front panel here and the back panel, you cannot see the uh, the normal stitches because that is the end of each row. So you can uh, guess where you're gonna insert your needle into. But you can take your time. All the matter is you make sure they're all even. Okay. And then insert my needle into next stitch of the sleeve panel and the next stitch of the front panel. You see? Take your time. Make sure you don't sew too tight or too loose. And then insert my needle into next stitch of the sleeve and the next stitch of the front panel here. Next stitch of the sleeve panel and the next stitch of the front panel. I'm just gonna repeating that. So into next stitch of the sleeve panel, next stitch of the front panel. Okay, this is how I sew my. Like I said, you can use 
any method you like for sewing. All right, I'm just gonna keep sewing all the way till I reach the end of this marker stitch. Okay, after I sew all the way down here, I already sew into the last stitch, okay? And then I'm just gonna uh, weave the end. Just gonna turn this side. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this part, but I'm just gonna show anyway. So I'm just gonna insert my yarn needle into this stitch. Nothing fancy. And then I'm just gonna tie a couple knot. And then just hide the tail. Oops. Yeah, keep hiding the tail, make sure it's secure, and then you trim the tail and you're done. That's what it look like. So this on the wrong side. So this is on the right side. That's what the right side look like. Okay, and you're gonna sew the sleeve into the other side exactly the same. Whatever method you use for this side, you're gonna use the same method on the other side and make sure it's even. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the other side and then after that, I will meet you guys back in. Okay, after you sew the shoulder part and then sleeve part here, and next we're gonna fold the uh, sweater in half, okay? Fold it in half like this, half like this. All right, that's what it look like. And then we're gonna start sew the side of the sweater all the way up till we reach the armpit. And then we're gonna continue sewing all the way down till we reach the end of the cuff. Same at this side, okay? And I already fold my sweater in half. That's what it look like. So we still sew on the wrong side, okay? So now my sweater right side facing each other and we're gonna sew on the wrong side. I already sew one side. See, I sew this already. This was look like. See, this is where I sew. All right, and we're gonna sew both sides exactly the same. So I'm just gonna turn a little bit here. Turn this side and then first you're gonna cut a new strand of yarn. I cut about 40 to 50 inches long. Just enough to sew the side and then sleeve. And also good to have some extra, <laughs> better than you don't have enough. And here I have my new strand of yarn and I also have my yarn needle ready to go. So here is the the bottom corner of the front panel and then I insert my needle right into the bottom here. And then this is the bottom of the back panel at the corner here. Okay, I'm gonna insert my needle into that stitch as well. We will start sewing and make sure you will sew on the wrong side. And then I'm gonna go into the same stitch one more time. You can use any method you prefer. And then I'm gonna insert my needle into next stitch here, the front panel and the next stitch of the back panel. This is how I sew my pretty easy, just go back and forth. So again, this, uh, this is so difficult to see the normal stitches because we don't have a normal stitch. This is the end of each row. 
whatever you kind of guess where the next stitch you're going to insert your needle into. But whatever you do, make sure that it's straight. Okay, like the end of row one of the front panel and then the end of row one of the back panel are straight. All right, and then when you come to this bead stitch row and it'll straight like that. That's all the matter. So I'm gonna insert my needle into next stitch of the front panel here and the next stitch of the back panel and keep going. And then insert my needle into next stitch of the front panel, next stitch of the back panel. Like so, this is how I do mine. Just gonna repeat that. Insert into next stitch and then next stitch here. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going all the way up, but I wanna make sure that all is straight. You can take your time, go slowly. You also can check on the right side as well. If if it look good or not good, it's good to fix if it doesn't look straight. Okay, take your time, keep going all the way up, all the way up till you reach the uh, armpit here. And when you reach the armpit and make sure the corner of the armpit of the back side and in the front side is straight, okay? And then after that, you're gonna sew the sleeve all the way down till you reach the cuff of the sleeve and then I will meet you guys back in when you reach the cuff of the sleeve and I will show you how I sew the cuff. All right, good luck, take your time. Okay, after I sew my sleeve all the way down till I reach the cuff here, I'm just gonna continue sewing the cuff. But I just wanna show you guys. For, uh, so for my cuff, I just uh, insert my needle into uh, front loop of the uh, front panel here and then I insert my needle into both loop of the back panel uh, sorry of the back side of the cuff like so one loop here the front loop and then both loop of the back side this is how I do mine you can do different <laughs> okay so again I insert my needle into the front loop of next stitch for the front side and then I insert my needle into both loop of the back side and I repeat that insert my needle into next front loop of the back side uh, of the front side and then insert my needle into both loop of the back side like so, one loop here, two loop there. Okay, repeat that. Next stitch, front loop. And then next stitch there, both loop. Again, one loop here, two loop there. I'm just gonna continue doing that all the way down. Next stitch here, one loop. Next stitch there, both loop. Okay, I'm gonna continue sew that all the way down till I reach the end and I will be back. Okay, now I reach the end here, I'm just gonna weave the end. So insert my hook, oh sorry, my needle back here, and then insert back, insert back here. Nothing fancy, just to weaving the end. And then I'm just gonna tie a knot. Just 
just hide the tail, make sure it's secure, and then trim the tail, and you're done. And you're gonna weave this in also. This is the right side of the cuff. Look like this is where we just sew. Okay, and then yeah, both sides you're gonna sew the same. Whatever method you use, you're gonna use exactly the same for both sides. And after you sew both sides, you're gonna weave all the ends. Okay, and then after that, turn your uh, sweater right side out and try it on and you're done and that's it I hope you enjoy making this sweater and I would love to see your sweater as well please feel free to text me on Facebook or Instagram I will put all the link in the description below and thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye